How we doing everyone? Welcome to my clips video of week 12, the final week of iRacing of this season, season 1, 2024. And this is the video where we get to choose Spoon of the Season. Big awards here, big award ceremony, lots of cheering going around. Uh, basically, we have a Spoon of the Week award and then at all those Spoons of the Week, we choose a Spoon of the Season. But anyway, I'm TDI, so let's crack on with this. Right then, this one is sent in from Storm. So thank you very much, Storm. It's an oval in the... Uh, I don't even know what these cars are. The little legends or whatever. No, they're not legends. And why is he going the wrong way? Okay, so he gets spun. A little bit in Netco, but gets spun. Does a UE. And then decides to drive up the circuit. what so hang on a minute i'm just rewinding this back yeah you're not the guy that spun him were you your car three so white uh, blue bonnet white background no because car three spins out on the infield so he's here and then you come round. And you've got a complete, you've got the Go TV car. <laughs> nice livery, right? Does he think that you're the one that he must do? What an absolute spanner. That is completely moronic, his, his decision making there to take you out. Just because he's got it wrong. He's, oh, just make, he got spun out. All right, fair enough. You get spun out. But why then take out the other person? It just makes you bad as the guy that you spun out with. And you've got it wrong. The amount of people that we've seen on these this season doing this is remarkable. Right then, next clip is from Booty, so thank you very much. Uh, yeah, let's have a nosy at this then. So, we're watching the pink car. Yeah, okay, good dive bomb. Not bad. Not bad at all. He held his line, and uh, we'll fast forward in a little bit now, which is nice. So, we're going too wide. See, that's the problem with getting it into the last corner, right? Because if you don't get it right, you're going to be slow on exit, and then you lose the slipstream. And round into Long Link into Largos, coming up the hill, the slipstream is so important, it's ridiculous. So, this is where it's not always good to do it into the last corner. You may as well stick behind him and get a slipstream, and then you can get a slipstream with the guys in front. But overtaking when the other car's in the slipstream is also very difficult. This is where it's like one of the more awkward things. And he, he yeah, yeah, okay. So, he comes. He comes away from the line and keeps coming on the what? Like, yeah. It, it, it. Turn one at Interlagos, it does this. People turn in massively early when they've got a car on the inside. It's like, you can't do that. Because there's a car there who's breaking in a straight line, which is fine. I mean, I'm glad you carried on and he's had issues, which is the best thing, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it just seems a bit sort of like, why are you turning into someone like that? I don't get it. I'm confused. Right then, so this is a few different angles, so we'll pitch on for this one, but this is Booty again. SF23 at the start of Suzuka, a little bit of a wobble, fair enough, and uh, yeah, where are we going after this then? Round turn one, there he goes, yep, way, hang on, hang on, slow down. I think we're on board with Steve in this one, aren't we? Uh, yeah, so go slightly wide, spins, and then all shenanigans happen, so let's have a look at another angle. So I think we're on board with Booty just because this looks like a McLaren livery. And I think it's this car here. So we'll keep an eye on him. So we're coming into turn one again. He goes a little bit wide. What the hell? Yeah, there she goes. -hoo -hoo -hoo. That was, uh, if that was you, Booty, then you were very close to getting tagged on that one. That was definitely a brown flag moment. This is the offboard now. So let's watch the offboard. Let's fast forward it a little bit. I know it doesn't take long to get down to turn one, but fair enough. He does get a good start. He, he, he gets like maybe one or two positions here. And then she goes two wide. I think that, that, that car freaks him out as well. So he gets he breaks and then that sends the car around and then she's away. Yeah. You got killed by some bodywork, which thank goodness is a ghosted bodywork. Yeah, poor dude. But brown flag in front of your eyes. Jeez, very much a brown flag in front of your eyes. So this is another one from Booty. Apparently he's not involved with this one. Um... Two cars in the F3, the V3 race he was doing. So this is what uh, what we were viewing. So this is just two random people. And uh, yeah, the second, uh, I suppose the second hairpin. Look at the size of that net code. That is literally a few tire thicknesses there. Jeez. Okay, that's that's bad for this Alpine livery, but it's an Alpine and an Aston Martin livery. So, and of course, 
did you see that towards the end there? Like his car has disintegrated where that the car hasn't been touched. Um, <laughs> geez, that's a bad. I mean, we see I've, I've had worse net code, but that is a pretty bad net code, particularly for close racing. I mean, it was a good sort of few tire wits, weren't it? Let's be honest. Right then, here we go. Welsh Warrior. I did not participate in Long Beach because it was not my friend, but you're doing the open session because we've got some GT4s up ahead there. So we're turning in. Oh, you, you, did you get tagged up the bum? I think you did. And then again, and then, oh, yeah, what can you do? You must have got tagged up the bum because there was no way you spun it just like that. Surely, surely you got tagged up the bum. Yeah, a little bit, little bit. He's, ah, oh, you can't really do that in turn one. Let's have a nosy. Let's have a look at it here. Yeah, he's, he's, he's not, I don't think he's alongside of you enough to kind of, his back, his, I always do it by tires, right? His front tire is not past your rear tire. I think this was a silly, silly move for him to do there. You'd already turned in. He did appear, but he appeared very, very late in my opinion. And turn one, you can't really do that with. And you've come off a lot worse. And he may have got away with that annoyingly. But utter carnage there. I do, I, it's a silly, silly move, I think. I think, he's, I think he's probably broken late. Let's be fair to him. I think he's probably broken late to get past the GT4. But it, yeah, he, 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 he's not fully committed into that corner that's caused massive issues maybe that gt4 did give him a good punt he might have had weary wheel damage and stuff but yeah this is long beach though this is long beach this is long beach it hurts it hurts it hurts right and this is from tom b and welsh warrior so thank you very much for this one so this is welsh warrior's pov very nice at the top there freebies galore did i just spot someone going over the barrier oh no it's a bit of car Bit of car went into that uh, that fence in there, wasn't there? So there's two gone. That's nice. Win for that one. We always like freebies. Yeah, they must have had three of them had issues. And this is Tom's POV. Whee! So Tom B was the person ahead of Welsh Warrior. So we got through there quite nicely. Annoyingly, it happens. Long Beach again, it happens. Run what a little bit wide. He's got a little. The rear tires weren't able to cope. He's gone into the barrier. The car here's got caught up in it as well, and now luckily our two viewers got through there scot free. Turn one at Long Beach is definitely one of those things. It it, it it's a it, it can be a little bugger to be honest. And the track temps at Long Beach is normally melting. Right then, Welsh Warrior, and uh, again, so thank you very much for this one. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at this. Yep, GT fours having an argument with themselves, and everyone just plowing in. So, yeah, the McLaren, I mean, the, the Mercedes, oh, too far back. The McLaren's got up the inside of the Mercedes, spun them both out, and then everyone's just come plowing in. And, of course, no one's going to lift up the throttle or stop or anything, are they? Yeah, everyone just comes plowing in. I'd like to see who's the problem. Do we have a, a close-up of the GT4s? Yes, we do. Here we go. Yeah, you see, what's the, what's the McLaren doing? He's sticking his nose in there. You know, it's... He's tried to do a move and use the LMP3 as an overtaking opportunity. And he hasn't got he hasn't got anywhere near next to him in the slightest. The moment of contact, I I I'm it's very like the Mercedes is more ahead than the McLaren, and it the McLaren is in the wrong here, to be honest. I don't think the uh, the he should have gone for this move and it backfired immensely. He he's not Yeah, look, he's not even remotely across at this point, is he? It's 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 an awkward place to overtake Long Beach and people get desperate and they try silly moves like this and half the time it doesn't work and it happens to this. So it's really, really awkward. And then not only do you catch up this LMP, there's another LMP there, then hit, you know, you just cause carnage for everyone. And it's just, I, I wish people were a bit more sensible. If you can't get fully alongside or at least half alongside, don't do it. Right then, so it's that time of the week where we look for Spoon of the Week. And I think you know where this is going. We've had a very, very similar one before, but it's got to be this guy. Yes, of course, it's Mr. Person that got spun out, which is okay. Getting spun out is a different conversation, but then drives up the wrong way of the track just to take out what he thinks. I believe what he thinks is the car because he aims for him and it's completely the wrong car. And it's just like, I, I have no idea what this guy's doing here because it makes no sense in the slightest. You get spun out. It's a very, very unfortunate thing. Let's have a look at it here. Look, to be honest, I would argue that that's probably a little bit of 
this guy's fault for going up a little bit too much. You can see here, he just comes away from, yeah, maybe it's the three car's fault, actually, looking at that. I think the three car does come down a little bit away from the yellow. Yeah, it's probably the three car's fault spinning them out, but, you know, don't retaliate. Retaliation only makes you as bad as the other guy. So if you're mad at him, report him. That's the thing you should be doing. You shouldn't be taking the police, you know, you shouldn't be uh, a police judge and executioner by yourself. You shouldn't do it. It's not right because that one, you're just as bad as him. And he's the one that you got angry for, for, for taking you out. Uh, just grow up, please. Grow up. But that this guy is the spoon of the week. It, it's got to be. It has to be. Right then. Spoon of the season. And it is a big one. It's an innocent mistake. But it was in the Daytona 24 hour. And the reason for that is this 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 is why I think it got the spoon of the week. But this is why I think it deserves a season of the week. Because you did it in a 24 hour race. You know, some things that you're trying to make overtakes in a 15 minute race, bit impatient, you could understand that a little bit. But it's a 24 hour race. There's like, I don't know, I think it was like 600 laps or something stupid in this. So I'm actually taking this from from my own YouTube clip. Um yeah. It's, it's this guy. So here we have it. We're on board and we're looking at the dude behind. And uh, yeah, he just comes from an actual country mile from the rear. Look at him come through. Takes out that guy a little bit and goes off and spins in Narnia. The, the only thing that can save him for this is the fact that he only kind of took himself out. He did cause a bit of damage to the guy ahead, but... The amount of cars he overtakes and tries to dive bomb, it's never going to work. It's its utterly ridiculous. He's come around there from qualifying, and he's literally just been on this qualifying hot lap. And it's just, this is this is a 24, hour, 24 hours. You can count them. There's a lot of hours. Why are you even doing this? Take it easy. It's lap one. You special, special, special. Three, you know, you went past three cars there. And you could, I mean, you, you glance past another car, which I'm hoping didn't damage them. And they continue on. But really, dude? Really? Spoon of the season. Has to be for just pure stupidity. Right, then that's us done and dusted. So thank you very much for tuning in for all of these that I've done every single, every week this season. We're probably going to slow down a little bit going into next season. And I'll probably get wait until there's like, I don't know, 20 clips or something or 15 clips and then post it out. So keep posting them. It will be open for you guys to see. So yeah, but we'll wait for 15 clips or something. Then I'll post a video. Then there's the next 15 and do it like that. So it won't be week by week by week by week, but we'll do it every 15. But yes, keep posting them in. Join my Discord down below and there's a little tab in there that you can have a look at and, and upload them from there. Uh, all I need is a YouTube video that's unlisted or you can do a uh, an actual video file, MP, MP4 or whatever you want. You can upload it that way and I can get it that way as well. So thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you. Hope you've enjoyed these. They will continue in the future. Otherwise, I've been TDI. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you on the next one.